What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today, what we're going to focus on is cutting layers in thick hair. Uh, sectioning is pretty simple. So we're going to break it down vertical section, straight down center back, and then everything's going to be over directed to that center back point. We're going to be cutting concave layers, which is a short to long layer in the back. So just watch my finger angle. As I scoop the hair up, I pull it up and I keep my fingers parallel to the floor, which is going to create a really nice short to long feel in the layers. What this is also going to do is remove maximum amount of weight from the interior of this haircut. And then we have that triangle that's sitting on the top crown of the head. That's going to cascade over and really give us our length in this haircut. So it's perfect for long, thick hair because it's going to keep your layers longer on the exterior but take out the weight on the interior. So notice I just continue working in that uh, pie shape sectioning all the way around until I finish off this section, pulling everything to that center back, cutting concave layers short to long. One other thing I want you guys to note on this side of the head is that I'm pulling the hair towards my body. That's going to change as we work in to the right hand side of the head. I'll be pushing the hair away from my body because you always want to be pulling that new hair to the guideline, not pulling it, but you want to bring it to the guideline. So notice that now I'm pushing and just pushing everything to that center back point, still cutting short to long with every section that I take along the right hand side of the head. All right, so now we finished off the back part of the haircut. We're gonna move into the sides. I'm gonna be taking diagonal back partings and I'm gonna be bringing those straight in front of the face and cutting with my fingers parallel to the parting. So just make sure that you work uh, each section. I'm taking about half inch sections, bringing them forward, stationary guide, cutting parallel to my fingers. Now I'm gonna cut the left hand side in this fashion, but I'm gonna cut the right hand side as condensed cutting because I want to show you guys the difference in this day and age uh, with COVID and everything that's happening in the salon industry, we have to cut hair a little bit faster. So when we can use condensed cutting, I would recommend it. And I'm going to show you guys how to do this in a condensed cutting way on this side right here. So to find my guide, I pull the hair out. I cut a little piece with little tension match those sides up and then I use that as my guide. I bring this entire section over because it's stationary and I cut it all in the same place. That's called condensed cutting and that'll speed up your process as long as you're working on the same plane, uh, the same part of the head. So now I'm gonna do the same thing on the top, condensed cutting, bring everything, elevating it up, taking a guide from my side section and just point cutting through to soften the line. You can see that beautiful face frame, all those layers that it creates just by pulling it up, cutting one section. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the opposite side, pull that hair up, cut it, point cut it through, get a nice soft maximum layered result in here. Now, last section, I'm gonna take that triangle section from the crown, pull it to the front of the head. I'm gonna take a guide from the previously cut section. So just grab a little bit of that, pull it up over top of the head and you're gonna see me point cut through using that as my guide as well. What this is gonna do is toss a ton of length, not necessarily weight, but a ton of length over top of those short layers that we cut in the back, which is going to allow somebody to have easier styling because they're styling longer hair. You can see how beautiful those layers are, how they pop through it, the shape of the haircut. Now I'm gonna go in with Moroccan oil. This is a root boost. I'm gonna spray this at the base. I wanna get tons of volume in this end result. Uh, so I just go through section, horizontal sections, spray that at the root. Uh, it's a nice lightweight product. Um, I love it because it doesn't feel heavy in the hair, but it gives you a ton of volume. And I kind of work it in with my fingers first and the blow dryer, just lifting the hair up, adding a little bit of heat to it, 
Then I go in my Ergo styling brush. I round brush it through, uh, polishing it as much as possible, giving it as much volume as I can. So the higher I lift it, the lighter it's gonna fall. I'll even lift the hair up a little bit, add a little bit of heat to that root, activate the product a little bit. And then I just continue working around the head shape, elevating it through with the round brush. This is a great look at that, uh, those interior shorter layers that are happening. Um, you can kind of pop those up with a round brush if you want to, uh, but your client shouldn't have any issues with these or really have to do anything with it. Just round brush normal. Those um, shorter pieces will activate and give you volume no matter what. Now we finish off a little bit of volume in that fringe area. Volume in the crown, going everything over the forehead, giving it as much height as possible, run my fingers through it. You can see those layers coming to life. Uh, beautiful round brush, blow dry. Now we're gonna use the Moroccan oil finishing spray, just a medium hold spray. And now you can see our end result. Hope you guys like it. If you do hit the like button, also subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you soon.